Hey, what's up, everybody? Today's subject of the video, check it out. 2005 Road King Sweet Ride. If you guys remember, uh, if you checked out any of my other videos, how 2000, um, what year is that M50? Is it tough five? That M50 that uh, we worked on quite a bit. Got traded in for this sweetheart. Nice ride. But the subject is, notice right here on the seat. Got the slot, but no backrest. And that's what we're putting in today. So we're gonna show you guys how to put the driver's side backrest in. Get this done. All right, here's what we gotta do first. Here on the bags, see these little keys? They're, kind of, they're like Zeus fashions for your drag race cars. They're pretty simple to come out. <sighs> see from back here in the back, watch them twist. You turn, how it unlocks from the spring. Pull them out, you do both of them like that. Clean it up. Then once you get both bags off, what you gotta do here, you gotta take the strap, remove it, because you gotta be able to remove the seat. So 7 16 Then back here, you're gonna have a four-way screwdriver bit. Of course, you get the seat off for it. Okay, once you get this right here off, and I told you guys wrong a moment ago, you do not have to take off the other saddlebag. So you take that off, lays that strap over, four-way screwdriver, and the whole seat just simply slides back. Ta-da! So also, as you see, here's your battery. If you need again to replace your battery, maintenance it. But what we're doing next, we're gonna set the mounts up to put the uh, driver's backrest in. All right, your next step, you got these two studs right here, and they are studs, they are not bolts, because uh, you loosen them up, you're not, you do not have to worry about the bolts falling through the fender or anything like that. So we're going to take these nuts off next. Then we got to figure out how to position this bracket. And you notice you got four different positions here. So it's one of those deals, basically, you just got to stick it in, put it in place, set your seat on, and see where it lines up inside that slot on the seat. So we're going to get these off and get these right here lined up. Okay, we started out just with trial and error. We put it in this position of the holes right here. And so we're gonna set the seat on. And see this tab right here? Drops right into the side, this slot here. And then you spread and you look. Okay, there is where the backrest will lock into. It looks like it needs to come down to the last position. So we're gonna pull the seat back off. Move that bracket down one level, see how it lines up. Unscrew these. Down one. Then we'll try off with the seat again. Tab goes in the hole, set the seat down, and your backrest will come in here and lock in. So it looks like were, that's about the best we're going to get for it. Looks like that's going to work. So now we take the seat off and put the remaining hardware on. But do not tighten these up quite yet because you got a bracket that spans from here up to this. You want to get that position to where it's ready to tighten up before you tighten this up. Otherwise, you may be fighting to line up your bolt holes. Okay, with the kit comes this little clip right here. And what you want to do is, see how the little locking teeth here? That's where the bolt engages for threads. This comes on here and has to snap in behind this. A little difficult, to sp little difficult to spread that and lock it on with a camera in one hand. So, best thing you do is get your flat screwdriver, spread that out, and slide down and let it lock in place. Basically what we did is take stick your screwdriver right inside that, hold it and just flex the screwdriver a little bit. Spread just enough that clears over top of that metal. And at that point, Slide down to be sure that the holes line up. Get on there, drink. You notice right here on the front side of that clip, it has a little, uh, the middle is kind of bent backwards. Basically what you gotta do, you gotta spread that enough that this engages inside that hole down there. And they don't mean for it to come off either. Be pushed over that way a little bit. Mm 
Next one, yeah. 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 And we have the holes lined up. So that's what we need right there. Then we got a flat bracket that sits. One bolt goes through here. And because we used the last position here, it's going to fall in the last position there. So we'll take that bolt, feed it through. Okay. Oops. Told y'all boo boo. Show you the correction. The bracket here needs to go under this. Because what I discovered is that when it was going on, this bracket, when it was sitting on top of this, knows how it kicks this out at an angle. So it was kind of made the screw a little too short to engage all the way through. Also, it was holding the bracket out at an angle. So when it goes under like this, it sits flat against this and gives you maximum strength and proper bolt engagement. So at this point, now we can put that top bolt in. It's got those locking teeth on it. We gotta go get another wrench, be right back. Okay, this is the original nuts that came on the bike here. They were the 7 16ths. This is half inch, both nut and bolt, half inch. That was the 7 16 So we got them all snugged up now. All we got left to do now is drop the seat back on and try the back rest. Alright, check it out. This back rest, the way it engages, see that spring? Simply squeeze it. It drops into the bracket. You got three different levels of attachment that you for your height adjustment. Pretty snazzy, huh? There it is. So now you got backrest for comfy. So now that we got our hardware all set up, now we can actually slide the seat on and pop it down through and see how it fits. Then we drop that down there through there. And here you go. I can't help the camera do that same time. Mid spray there so you can see the engagement. There she goes. And if you feel all fancy fied, you can tuck your leather down inside there. There it is. Pretty cool, huh? Now we just gotta put it back together. So then we take our strap, throw it back over. Yeah, exactly. Don't tighten it up until you start putting your bags on because that will line up with your pin that comes through your saddlebags. Your pin comes through here and locks that in place. So you got adjustment here, but don't lock it down until you get your bag put on in place. Then you got a four-way screwdriver back here. Four-way screw, whatever, yeah. Phillips head. Phillips head. He's trying to be all proper. I'm being redneck. It's a full weight. All right, look right here, people. Bottom of your saddlebags, you got these grooves here, which locks on this bar here. You set them in wrong with the, the bag wants to set out, and it's really hard to lock and pins in place. Not to mention, the bag may fall off. And let's come back this way. pin through which this one has not been moved so this one will be the one for proper alignment of the front one that was locked 
and then he can use that pin to line up the front one to know where to lock the bracket in place. I'm sure you guys can't see that. There you go. See now he's got the spring locked in place. Then he knows where he can tighten up for the 716. Installation complete. Fine ride there. You notice also it comes with lots of extra hardware. That backrest is designed for different bikes, so you may not use all the hardware that comes with the kit. So don't be freaking out if you got extra bolts. That's all we need on this bike. So everyone, if you like my video, thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and check out the website www.fixjeeps.com. Peace out, later, y'all.